My favourite fishing is roach fishing. That's pretty clear from the many videos I've done about roach fishing and the two books I've written about roach fishing. But sometimes I fancy a change. I did a video last year or a couple of videos about grayling fishing. I've done videos about chub fishing. I fish for dace sometimes. Sometimes I get mixed bags of dace and chub and roach. And in the spring, it's quite nice to do some tench fishing. There are some good tench waters around in Dorset, some very, very big tench just over the border into Hampshire, around Ringwood on a couple of the pits. And one of the ponds that I fish a lot isn't too far from me. And over many years, I've caught tench from there fairly consistently. So I thought it would be nice to do some tench fishing and I've done uh, three or four sessions on there, getting some nice tench. And I'm going to do two videos about this fishing, a little bit of history on this pond regarding tench fishing. I started fishing here in 1970 and even that first season I caught a couple of tench and it wasn't unusual in as much as the tench that I caught were about five inches long. And a big one, there were bigger ones, but they were only about a pound and a half to two pounds. It was very rare to get one bigger than two pounds and they, they were few and far between. And it was so rare that in a match in 1976, I got pipped for first place by someone who actually foul hooked a three pound tench. And that was the club record for the pond at that time. A, cup, a lot of the small roach died off that winter and the gudgeon and a couple of years later uh, people were able to catch tench more easily because the prolific stunted roach weren't taking the bait all the time. People started to get more tench and the tench that were in there started to grow and someone did win a match with two tench for about seven and a half pounds possibly with a few roach so the biggest one of that brace was probably over three and a half pounds. By the 80s, the tench started to grow again. There were um, fishing up to over four pounds started to show, but these were still the big ones. And it's only the last few years, whether it's more people putting in um, pellets and boilies have grown them on, I don't know, but the, certainly there's been evidence of quite a few six pounders. I've heard stories of a nine pounder. How true that is, I don't know, it's possible not seen any evidence for it but certainly a, getting a six pounder has become a possibility rather than a, a sort of dream certainly back in the 70s if you you'd said to someone oh one day we'll be catching six pound tench from this water we'd have just laughed and uh, that was true of one or two other waters that were quite local to here as well where again the tench only went to about two and a half pounds at the at the tops and even in the the, um, the gravel pits around Ringwood the tench was still only two or three pounds back in those days whereas now uh, a couple of the pits produce them up to sort of uh, 13 pounds which is quite incredible some certainly some fantastic tench let's get on with the first session the conditions are ideal. There's a southwest wind blowing down the pond. I've chosen a quite a big float. It's a bodied waggler with a peacock stem and a uh, two and a half millimeter pole float tip in it, which is very easy to see. Fairly sensitive. It's not one of my uh, hollow ones with a hole in the side. It's just an ordinary sealed one, but it shows bites fairly well. To uh, cope with the the good size fish in here and the, there's some snags as well using a Normark Avenger 2000 float rod with uh, my Mitchell matches four pound Daiwa sensor line which actually breaks at about six pounds so it's pretty strong a 0.15 reflow pro uh, hook length which is again probably breaks at close on four pounds size 12 Tubertini 808 hooks and I'm going to feed with some 
uh, four millimeter feed pellets and fish sweet corn on the hook. I'm not going to feed corn. The main problem I'm going to have, and it's only sort of a problem, is that I'm going to get quite a few skimmers, possibly bream and roach as well coming in. So if I feed a lot of corn, I'll probably get a lot more bream. I don't, don't mind catching some, but I want to catch the tench. So I'm going to try and just feed pellets and hope that the tench can find my bait. I started off missing some bites. Uh, I had another session last week where I had five tench and a tench first cast, which was quite incredible. Tench over four pounds first cast. But the first fish I've got are one or two skimmers, but it wasn't too long before the first tench turned up and it was a, a nice fish over three pounds. And it set the pattern for the evening. I only fished for two hours in an evening session. The second tench I got was a, a slightly better one, around about four pounds. Uh, they fight very, very hard. And uh, this one was no exception. Really got going. They, they never seem to give up, which is a, a good sign. And they need careful handling. getting uh, tench interspersed with skimmers and uh, some roach. Most of the roach showing on the corn have been around about four or five ounces, six ounces. But this evening things got a bit better. Uh, on corn I did get one just under a pound I suppose, which was a promising start. And there was signs of fish all evening. Fish rolling, good sized fish, probably tench, not necessarily right where I was fishing, I was fishing in about five foot of water, but they were definitely active and moving around and other anglers were also picking up the odd tench as well. To try and get past the skimmers I decided to uh, try punched meat. I had a, a small tin of luncheon meat that I'd used two or three weeks ago and then frozen. I think this is something you can do a couple of times. So I cut a slice of meat and got a, a meat punch that was around about I suppose 12 millimeters, quite a good size pellet and put that on. And I know that the tench in here do like punched meat. I've caught uh, quite a few. The bream also like it and I've even caught roach on it. What actually happened this time with the, the punch meat, I didn't get the tench on it. Instead I got two roach over a pan so uh, and sort of bites that I couldn't hit which I suspect were roach so the roach were definitely hungry and uh, 
they wanted to have this meat. So my idea of trying to thwart the uh, skimmers to get to the tent just got me good roach, which was very nice, but not quite what I was after. Time was getting on and finally I went back to sweet corn and I hooked a much much better tench. In fact it was so different to the other ones which were lively and strong that at first I thought I'd actually hooked a carp which is quite rare on when float fishing anyway on this particular place. But uh, once I did get it under control, I got it in and it proved to be uh, the first six pounder I've had from this particular pond. My previous best from here were a couple of just on five pounds and this made six pounds. So that was uh, a fantastic end to a good evening. Nice to sit, slip it back gently here. In the second video, I, I do a, another session in the day rather than the evening in a different swim and something rather strange happened, but that will have to wait till next time. So it's goodbye for now.